Welcome to my channel. This is Nagesh Rao Vakaruthu, Department of Civil Working as a student professor in Nala Nosumaradi Education Society's Group of Institutions, Hyderabad. Hey guys, uh, we will discuss a topic from Arduinate that is Traffic Engineering and Regulation. The topic name is Traffic Capacity and uh, Level of service we will discuss briefly about uh, this topic today's class uh, first what is the traffic capacity how we are identifying this traffic capacity so maximum flow occurs when the speed is free man speed by 2 and the jam density upon 2 so this is the traffic condition guys so here vsf is the free man speed on 2 and uh, here kj is the uh, jump density you can say so this is the formula here q max is equals to vsf into kj upon 4 so jump density is 1000 upon spacing of vehicle and we have vsf is the free mean speed and k is equals to q upon where q is equals to average volume of vehicle per hour and b is equals to space mean speed of vehicle in kmph so according to that you can calculate easily for volume of vehicle per every single hour Hey guys, here another point is level of service that is LOS. So it is defined as a qualitative measure describing the operational condition within a traffic stream and their perception by motorists and passengers. Now we can say here. A rating of acceptable level of congestion. So, which level of services we need to uh, do? So, there's the information. So, some of the services of some of the topics is there. We will uh, discuss briefly here. Free flow. So, free flow in the sense. So, when we are traveling a road, in some case we are facing a lot of difficulty or whatever it may be so here free flow means when we are traveling on the road without any kind of the depression any kind of the collision or any kind of the hesitation we are not facing so that is the free flow so without any obstructing the we are not facing any kind of the obstructing on traveling right and low traffic so when it is low traffic, exactly at the early morning period, so uh, before 7 or plus or minus 7 o'clock, at that time it will be traffic is very low, you can say, and uh, at night time also there is no traffic condition. So in after the 7.30 or 8 o'clock then traffic it will be increased gradually, gradually. So that is the low traffic we can see. High speed. So density is maximum on the road with the concern vehicle. So the high speed. So if it is traffic is low and uh, free flow is there at that time, concern passenger can rise. Is our her speed to some extent extend up near to the design speed? That's the point. Another condition B condition stable flow. So from starting to ending means from morning to evening time. So the traffic is continuously equal. So in morning session, we are identifying our hour will be the same. 
11 o'clock after session the three and by the evening period so this every time the traffic flow is same so the stability noticeable traffic so unfortunately suddenly it will be increased traffic is suddenly increased that particular period we need to identify the traffic condition and coming to the c point the stable flow is same continuously and here traffic intersections so traffic intersections is the junction point so at that time we are facing lot of traffic by because signal system is a, a integrated intersection so that's why at the four lane junction so if we are moving we are releasing traffic of one lane so remaining three lanes of traffic should stay so that's why it get uh, more time to stay over there and uh, lot of vehicle may stay at the particular point so in in between uh, 7:30 to 11 around that time traffic uh, will be more and uh, after 3:30 pm so traffic also maximum at the junction points so lot of problem they are facing over there over that and this is the unstable flow so here the density of flow is fluctuating so the flow is fluctuating so uh, it will be suddenly increased suddenly uh, decreased unstable in morning to evening session there is no stable morning for example per hour 10 vehicles there suddenly it will be next hour it will be 100 vehicles then again 50 then 100 50 10 20 30 so like that vehicles moving over there so that is the we can say it is unstable you can say is the unstable flow you can say next high density high density so flow will be maximum maximum flow is there so that is the high density movement restrictions so in some condition uh, what happened two lane is there so in one lane uh, maximum flow is going on traffic flow is going on in another lane there is a uh, in another lane there is a two portion is divided so from that another lane we should take one portion means authority can change the uh, direction for the another lane so at that time we can uh, restrict the uh, where in which road uh, traffic flow is less means some of the portion they kept over their barricades whatever it may be and they allow the traffic that side when flow is uh, less uh, on that road uh, they allowed uh, the you know, traffic then they restrict the complete portion of the road over there so next one is the lower speed so when we are moving lower speed it is a high traffic high level of traffic is there at the time we are moving very lower speed lower speed we are and volume is nearly equal to capacity yeah, capacity if our capacity is uh, certain extent then our volume also is uh, certain extent nearly equal so means they are utilizing uh, completely 100% around 95% they are utilizing the uh, road users a little freedom means when traffic flow is less at the time uh, some of the passengers they moving their vehicle with the uh, speed so then they get the freedom no freedom so restricted area for example army zone is there the army area or cantonment area at that time so speed breakers is there speed limit 20 30 speed there if we are uh, if we are thinking we should move very very fastly but we cannot because that is completely restricted area traffic volume can drop to zero yeah, obviously and something is happened so it automatically the traffic volume is completely zero and stop and go so this is uh, we are facing at a, a junction point at junction point we should stop when it is red signal so when it is green we should move 
Again, some of the things is there here, you can see. So, level of service A. So, this is free flow operation. There is no any kind of uh, jam is not going on here. So, free flow operation. No restriction is the maneuvering. There is no restriction here. We are moving very freely, comfortably. And level of service B. A reasonably free flow. Ability to maneuver is only slightly restricted. Effect of minor incident still easily absorbed. So little bit compared to the A, B is a little bit increased. Some of the things may going to happen, but we need to move it uh, uh, perfectly. We need to move in a uh, perfect manner. Level of C. Speed at or near FFC. Freedom to maneuver is a noticeable restricted. Jesus may from behind any significant blockage. So here little bit of vehicle is increased here. So it when it is increased so some of the blockage may go in the hole. So and next D. Speed declines slightly with increasing flows. Speed it will be decreased. Why? Right? Because flow is increased now here. So when traffic flow increase automatically our speed is going to restrict. Density increases more quickly. When traffic flow is slow, what happens? Automatically automatically density of the vehicle increased. Freedom to maneuver is more noticed by the limited. So there is no freedom to move with a lot of speed. Minor incident created being some of the incidents may going to happen. So in Indian in India as per IRC, level of service B for design of rural roads, level of service C for the design of Urban roads can take. So operating speed is the left side and that volume and capacity ratio. So these are the level of uh, services from A to F. So loss of sorry, level of service B and level of service is given point here. So level of service K and level of service F. Operation near or at capacity. No usable gaps in the traffic stream. Operations extremely volatile. Any a disruption causes way. So they should fill the gap. There is no gap on the flow. And uh, loss of service. Effort. Breakdown in flow. Views from behind. Background point demand to increase the capacity. Demand is greater than capacity. For example, demand is 100, but our capacity is 100. So at this time, is completely increased. So we can say this is the morning period after 7 to 11 o'clock. That period we can assume here. If the cars increases the flow, automatically speed will be decreased. Then demand is greater than capacity. So this kind of the problems may happen right side. It's traffic operations, number of conflicts at intersections, crossing conflict, merging conflict, averaging conflict, everything is there. Already we are discussed in the previous class. You can upload that over there. Number of lanes, road A, road B, two lanes, three lanes, four lanes, five lanes is there. Both the road two way, a one way, B two way, both road one way. Number of uh, potential conflict. For example, road A and road B here are both roads two way. That is twenty four. A and B is eleven. Conflict potential conflicts is eleven. And a and B both roads one way is six. So likewise, two-way, three-way, four-way, and 
uh, up to four way. So number of uh, potential conflict point we are going over here. Means converting, diverging, merging, all this point now. Nah? So new road is uh, com coming and joining the highway, and uh, and after that it will be moving. And after that there is a small divergent is there from the national highway right? because some village is there. Some of the merging also is there. So that uh, number of lanes were identified here. Starting operation. Thank you, thank you so much.